Okay, YouTube, uh, tutorial number 14, and this one is for the Half-Life 2 through to episode 2, and it's for the campaigns. Um, a lot of people don't know how to uh, make the ammo crates, which you see along the campaign, so this is just a simple little tutorial to show you how. Uh, the first thing you're going to have to do for the opening ones, the ones which are pure metal, you're going to go to your entity tool, and you are going to select item underscore ammo underscore crate that one down there I'm underscore ammo underscore crate and you can place one of those in and you should get this okay so the first thing you're going to have to do is just rotate that to wherever you want over there and then you're going to double click it to get into your properties now all you need to do in here is just set your ammo type so I'm going to set this to RPG rounds and then just for when we go to test it in game I'm just going to place a weapon underscore RPG on the top of it just so we can see how it works okay so that's that one and now the second one you want is your entity tool and you want to select it and do item underscore item underscore crate it's a bit of an odd name, I don't know why they've done that. And then you get this little box. So pop that in the corner. Double click that for the properties. And now this is pretty much just like a uh, prop underscore physics. It has all the same stuff. Uh, so what you need to do, you need to... Um, down here, where is it? Down here. And item type. Here we go. And you can set that to any entity. But obviously you're going to want it to either a weapon or an actual item for ammo, so I'm going to have this as SMG ammo and I think it have a strength one as well, does it? No, I can't find it anywhere Awesome uh, The flags um, are pretty much like the physics uh, props same as them and that is it for those. And I'm just going to place a weapon underscore SMG. Oh, weapon underscore SMG on the top as well. Oh, I just realised this room doesn't have any light. So I'm just going to plop a light entity down. Center of the room. Middle of the room. Properties. In yellow, 75 brightness, and I'm just going to run this map. Bounce the light around, oh dear. Slow around quite a lot, and there's no leaks or anything else. So, I'm just going to go test it in game. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so here we are in game, and I'm just going to go to map. And I think it was the flare one, I don't know. Yes, it was. Okay. Got my SMG. Got my RPG. Use all three rounds from this. And, oh no, no ammo. Get some more ammo. And, oh dear, I need a suit, don't I? I just can't change weapon. Sorry, that's incredibly loud. And that will give you ammo for that as well. So, that is about it, actually. Nothing really impressive there. But, um, yeah, that will help newcomers to mapping figure out how to do stuff like that. It's not the hardest thing in the world, and it's not the most complicated tutorial in the world. It's just here to uh, demonstrate to new mappers for Half Life 2 campaigns and such about the ways of putting those in. So um, this is Anna Sparangus and Sphinxer279 and I'll see you in tutorial number 15. Goodbye.